friends, and welcome to our Meet the Animals video. My name is Lauren. I am an educator with Schlegel Library, and today I'm going to introduce you all to Onyx. She is our speckled king snake. They're also known as the salt and pepper snake. Um, so these guys are native to the Kansas and Missouri area. You can find them all throughout the central and southern United States, and they're very common. Um, now, they are king snakes. Uh, they're famous. They're called the king of the snakes because they are well known for the fact that they can eat other snakes. Um, but that in and of itself isn't that strange or unusual. Lots of snakes can do that. However, the thing that makes them stand out is that they are immune to venomous snakes, such as copperheads, uh, rattlesnakes, any snakes that are found within their native range. They have actually developed immunity. So they can hunt those snakes, and even if they get bit, they won't react the way that um, we would. So um, they're not only going to be eating other snakes, though. King snakes are opportunistic, so they'll also be eating lizards and frogs and bird eggs and also lots and lots of rodents. So that's what our onyx gets. She gets um, one thought-out mouse per week, about that big. So the way you see how much... Um, how big their food should be is if you look at the middle of their bodies, about as big around as the thickest part of their body. So that's about how around her, uh, how big around her mice are. Now you'll notice her head is much smaller than that. And so with snakes, they, if you've ever seen a snake eat, you've seen that their mouth gets really, really big. Um, it's not them unhinging their jaw or anything like that. They have very flexible tendons, ligaments, and muscles in their head, in their jaws. So um, if you look here, you can see that little line right down the middle um, that goes below her. So that will actually open up. It can spread and uh, stretch. So when she's eating, uh, and then it just kind of, she works it down there and takes about 20 minutes. So they're able to do that with both their upper and lower jaw, and it can kind of work and move independently of the right and the left side. So that's a really cool um, thing that snakes can do in order to eat now, um, they also are active um, throughout the spring through the fall. Um, usually they're most active at dawn and dusk in the uh, spring and fall months, and in the height of the summer, they're going to be fully nocturnal. So these guys, even though they're really, really common all throughout this area, you're very unlikely to see them because they are quite, quite secretive and not typically active um, during times that we would even be able to see them, even if they were around. Um, and so they're usually going to be under logs, under rocks. Um, they'll actually thermoregulate underneath a flat rock that's getting sunlight. So what that means is that um, snakes, like all reptiles, they're ectothermic. That means that they're gathering their heat from an external source. Um, so we also call that cold-blooded, but that's kind of misleading because their blood isn't cold. It's just that they're using the sunlight or, in the case of our snakes here, heat lamps in order to generate their heat. Um, these guys are going to be found in a variety of different kinds of habitats as well, such as uh, swamps, marshes, open uh, fields, and woodlands. So quite a few different types of places that we could have them in. Now, uh, of course, any animal with a mouth can bite, but these guys are better known for a different kind of defense mechanism. They can actually do what's called musking. Um, it's this really, really concentrated liquid that uh, produces an odor. Whenever they feel threatened, they'll release it, and it is, uh, it's very putrid. It's very, very strong scent. So uh, deterrent to predators that doesn't even involve them biting um, because, of course, that can... Um, make them a little bit vulnerable if they bite. The rest of their body is exposed, so if they musk, it, um, in my opinion, it's a much better deterrent. Uh, if you've ever smelled a snake musk scent, you would know <laughs> to not touch them. So Now, another thing that they'll do as well is they'll use what's called Batesian mimicry. So what that means is they'll actually take their tail and they'll vibrate it on the ground and that resembles a rattlesnake. And so that can fool their um, potential predators into thinking that it's a venomous snake and kind of leave it alone. So they've got a lot of different um, 
interesting tactics there to keep themselves safe. But of course, um, staying hidden, staying out of sight is their uh, preferred method. Now, uh, another really interesting thing about these guys is, of course, um, like most snakes, they are oviparous. That means that they will quickly lay their eggs. They don't incubate inside the body. Um, and female speckled king snakes will typically lay about five to 17 eggs um, per clutch. And they can have several clutches in one year. Uh, now, of course, our onyx is all alone. She does not have a mate. However, she does still produce eggs um, because she is female, but those eggs are infertile. So I actually have some that we've collected here. So there's no babies inside. Um, they're being preserved in alcohol here so that they don't deteriorate. Um, but they're just empty, just like if you saw my last video, I talked about how uh, chicken eggs that we eat don't have a baby bird inside. Well, same thing here going on. So it's just the nutrition that's from her body that's encased in a shell and there's nothing else going on. So I um, kept some to show people but there's no babies. Now we got Onyx, she is about eight years old. We got her about seven years ago. Um, she was a classroom pet and um, she was actually uh, put up for adoption on Craigslist. And so that's how we got her as a rescue. So, um, so that's Onyx. Okay, so thank you guys so much for joining us today. And I hope you enjoyed our video and getting to know Onyx a little bit better. All right, so everyone say bye.